Well guys, we're back down in the lower garden again today. And uh, I've said it before, gardening is not easy. There's a reason why a lot of people don't uh, want to plant a garden, don't want to mess with it. There's just so many things that can go wrong. So many things you got to deal with. I planted this six rows of corn Monday two weeks ago. And I got a good rain on it that night. And I felt like I was going to be in pretty good shape. The stuff came up real good, nice and even. I looked at it late Thursday. Looked real good, coming up nice. My neighbor come to see me uh, late Friday evening. He asked me, what'd you plant down there in them six rows? I said, I planted corn. He said, well, I seen five crows down there walking up and down the rows. Y'all know what that means. I come down here the next morning, Saturday morning, and looked. You could see the little indentions where they had pulled up pretty near every seedling out here. They left me one little stretch right here. Got a few scattered in here and one little section right there on the end of that row. The rest of it, for the most part, they just went down, blip, 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 and pulled up everything out here. So the crows pulled up most of the corn. There ain't enough out here left to mess with. Uh, sometimes in gardening, what you gotta do is just back up and punt. So I'm gonna fix these rows back up, loosen the soil a little bit. I got me a stake right here. Made me a little notch in it. I'm gonna try to use this thing right here speed up the process and we're going to put some sweet tater slips in the ground. I got everything cleaned up. What I did was take the walk behind tiller and just go down the top of the row, loosen that soil up real good because in order to plant like I'm getting ready to, you need a loose soil to make it work. And I took the tractor and just went down it and uh, cleaned up the middle of the rows. Tried to make sure everything was good to go before I got started. All right, I went ahead and planted the first three rows late yesterday. I knew I didn't have enough slips to finish out, so I went back this morning and got some more from the old fella. And I'm going to show you all what I'm working with right here. I had seen a video, actually a couple of videos, one by Pilgrim Farmer and another one by 22 Just Does 2. Both of those folks down in South Carolina, they planted their sweet potatoes. They each had a stick to help stick them down in the ground, keep them having to bend over so much. Uh, save the back and speed up the process. What I did was just take one of my tomato steaks and what I have done is just notch the end of it a little bit so it will fit around the slip. This right here is what I'm going to be planting, sweet potato slips. These are actually a Puerto Rico is the variety. Doe fella down the road been growing them for about 25 years or so. Never grown anything else and the way this is going to work with a little notch on here this uh, slip is going to actually fit right in that notch and help push it down in the ground. And before I get started, I got I to gotta say something. There's a difference in terminology here. Up here where I'm at, uh, we call these things slips. Now, I'm a Tar Heel boy, born in North Carolina, lived there for most of my life. And we was always taught that the folks south of the border, then what was from South Carolina was a little bit, just, just a little bit backwards. And after watching these two folks uh, with their sweet potato videos, uh, I finally believe that uh, there is some good to them. But yeah, they are a little bit backwards too. Let me explain. Down there, they call these things draws. Yep, they call them draws, not slips. You know, like cabbage slips, broccoli slips, that kind of stuff. They call them draws. Now, I don't know about y'all, but draws is what I put on when I get out of the shower at night. <laughs> I have never gotten out of the shower and grabbed my drawers and thought about no sweet potato slips. I'll tell you that. <laughs> nah, them folks are good down there. I appreciate them making the video and teaching this old boy a trick or two. Let me show you how you put them in the ground. What I'm going to do is lay them in here long ways like this. Just lay them down like that. They'll be, uh, you know, 14, 16 inches apart, give or take. Lay these things out so, go on down the row. I'm putting them long ways, you'll see why in just a minute, to try to make sure I stay in the center of the row. Now when you get ready to put these things in the ground, all you're going to do is take the stick, put it on the end of it. They said put it right where the uh, white turns purple, right around the top of the roots. Take this stick in the little notch, push that thing down in there just like that. And you can almost hear it go, Whoosh, whoosh. 
that is pretty slick. I tell you what, that made uh, planting sweet potatoes a whole lot faster. Again, in super slow motion, real slow. Push that thing down in there just like that. Uh. And then come back and water in around it. Man, this is a neat little trick right here. I could plant a couple of acres in a day's time, no problem. This is nice. One thing about this though, you need soft ground. They got nice uh, sandy stuff down in South Carolina. This is the softest stuff I got up here in this bottom garden. So I got it tilled up and loosened up pretty good where I can just take this thing, put it on there and stick it right down in there. Well, there you have it folks. Replaced uh, six rows of very little corn what the uh, crows had left in here and uh, put sweet potatoes in it. Best I could count, there's about 330 slips in here. Uh, that'd be draws for the people down in South Carolina. The most I had ever planted was maybe about 25 or 30 in any given year. So uh, we got an extra 300 this year. I think it's a decent trade-off uh, not having as much corn and then having something that's easily stored. I can store these sweet potatoes a whole lot better than uh, we can can and freeze all that corn over there or the corn that would have been right here. So the Pilgrim Farmer and uh, 22 Justice 2 down in South Carolina, thank you both very much. I appreciate y'all posting the videos and uh, teaching this old boy a new trick. That's why I watch as many videos as I do, it's just trying to learn something new. I know y'all from South Carolina, but y'all all, all right in my book. So y'all take care, and uh, Lord willing, I'll see you next time.